What's going on YouTube and today I have the Acer C7 Chromebook with Ubuntu 12.0.4 installed. Now this video will not be about Ubuntu but it will be about virtualization inside of Ubuntu. So if any of you guys have watched my previous video made a good while back about Windows running on my Acer C7 Chromebook that was due to VirtualBox. Now I know a lot of you are having trouble getting the kernel configured. I will show you how to do that in another video. In this video, I will show you it starting up and everything's cool. Because the last video I did not show you for sure that this was a C7. Or I didn't show you me starting it up. So for one, let me show you that it is a Chromebook. There is your Chrome symbol. The Acer. This is, of course, you can most definitely should be able to tell if this is Ubuntu running Unity. Now, whenever I go to start it up, it might crash, so I might have to reboot my computer, but bear with me. So, right here's Windows 7. It actually runs pretty fast on this computer, there's Vista. So, yeah. load up Windows 7. Let's see if it goes. Well, let's just give it a minute here. Alright. Now we just gotta hope that it don't crash. And so far, usually it crashes whenever those things don't even come, they will crash. So everything's good, and it'll come up. Just give it a minute, and as you can see, Windows 7 is starting up. Now, I know, like, it's kind of difficult to have the kernel configured correctly. Let me get in here. It's a pretty fast start. I mean, it's not bad. Here we shouldn't be going. Under seven ultimate. And there we are. It's under seven run on my Ace Crown book. There, I got USB in my iPod that I'm recording on right now. Got. See, it's considerably quick. I used to have Ubuntu once before, whenever I was running that Windows XP video. And when the, I tried Windows 7, and it was very slow and very laggy. Now, that's whenever you set the most RAM that you possibly can to your thing. Like, if you set 936, which is the most that you can set to... VirtualBox on the HRC7 with the 2 gigabytes of RAM you have. If you set that, then you're going to have lagging and crashing problems because apparently Ubuntu uses that much, so it needs enough to run in the background. So, what you got to do to stop the lagging, lag free problems, and stuff is to um, download. I mean, don't download nothing. Excuse me. But you want to set the RAM at 812 megabytes. That's it. And it runs pretty smooth. So let me bring up my computer info here. Sometimes it can take a minute to bring up the properties. I'm not pretty fast that time, so as you can see. Got the Intel Celeron CPU 847, 1.1 gigahertz. The other one running too. And there's 812 megabytes of installed memory. And also, I know once you guys get the kernel configured, you guys are going to wonder after you get a Windows installed how to run the dual core CPU because. By default, it can only run one, and if you try to set two, it will not work. So you'll have to look another way up, or I will 
show you guys how to do so in another video. You have to defaultly set in the terminal to let VirtualBox use the other one and then you set it up to two processors and it'll work great. So here we are. Just thought I'd give you guys an overview and hopefully I will have a um kernel configure video coming soon. Possibly later today or tomorrow. So either later today, October seventeenth, two thousand thirteen, or tomorrow, October eighteenth, two thousand thirteen. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.